Hi, my name is Henk Jan Geel, and this is an information video about the Heroes of Telemark Memorial Expedition. And this expedition is a joint venture between Ascent Explorers in the UK and Arctic Adventure in the Netherlands. So, in this video, I will explain to you about the route of the Heroes of Telemark, about the cooperation I have with Ascent Explorers. So, let's have a look at the content. I will of course introduce myself, I'll tell you a bit about the vision of Arctic Adventure, I'll take away some misconceptions, I'll tell you about the expedition level, the tour itinerary, participants, the condition requirements, your personal preparation, uh, I'll explain about the equipment and I'll tell you about next steps. So who am I? Well. This is me. My name is Henk Jan Geel. I'm a polar guide and expedition leader. I've been traveling in the Arctic environment for, well, let's say 20 years now, both in Sweden and in Norway, but I've also crossed Greenland twice from the west side to the east side. Um, I've been in the Arctic environment on both solo trips or as an expedition guide on trips with clients or of course trips with my friends. So, this is a brief overview of some pictures of me and most of the time you will see me on my knees, either fiddling around with the stove or helping out clients, in this case, with some blisters. So join me on the Heroes of Telemark Memorial Expedition in Norway. This is probably what we will encounter. Blue sky, white snow and no trees. But it's an expedition, so this is also what we can encounter white out completely white all around us in this case you will just walk in a straight line to to wherever so the vision of arctic adventure arctic adventures my company and i have some rules made up for this company it is real and it's genuine real means it's just like a real expedition it doesn't matter which tours or which trips or which expeditions you will join with Arctic Adventure, it's the real thing. We will supply you with the sleeping bags and the tent and the mattresses, the food, the stoves. And this equipment is exactly the same equipment as I use in Greenland on real bigger expeditions. So it's real. We're operating in a small team in the middle of nature. So this is also real. Maximum seven participants eight including the guide and it's genuine we have intrinsic motivation of bringing you out in the arctic i love to be in the arctic i love to walk around in the snow it's it's a genuine interest and the clients or the participants they also have a genuine interest in either the trip or the snow or the arctic environment or the history of the heroes of telemark some other rules which i have set out is our trips are always below zero they're in sub-zero degrees, so Arctic environment. 50% at least we will sleep in a tent. So if we are out for five nights, three of them will be in a tent and two of them can be in a hut or somewhere else. We don't use a motor. We go either by ski or by husky or by snowshoe. We can use a taxi or a bus or a plane to get to the starting point and we get extracted at the end. But in between, I will not use a motor, so no ski or things like this. An Arctic Adventure, we will arrange most of the materials. So the tent, the sleeping bags, the mattresses, the skis, your shoes, the pots and the pans, the stoves, we will arrange this. So you don't have to worry about it. And we are both sure that this is the real stuff you really need. And there we go. Sleeping in a big six person expedition tent during the Heroes of Telemark. I'll take away some misconceptions. Questions I've been asked a lot of times. I can't ski. Well, we're not gonna ski. We're gonna do backcountry skiing. Skiing for me is like downhill in the Alps, in the mountains, downhill skiing. We are not going to do this. We're backcountry skiing, which is on a flat terrain. Slowly, 
moving throughwards to through the terrain about two two and a half kilometers an hour like one one and a half miles per hour slowly we have a sledge behind us we're not going down we're not going steep up it's like this so you don't have to ski I can't stand the cold well to be honest I can't stand the cold either but I love to be in the cold I don't love to be I, I don't want to have uh, have it. I don't want to be cold. Sorry, I don't want to be cold. I love to be in the cold. So I know how to dress. I know how to behave. I don't want to be cold. I want to be in the cold. And the cold in the Arctic, it's a different cold than, let's say, in London or in Utrecht, where I live, because here in the Netherlands, it the humidity is high. In the Arctic, the humidity is low, very low, especially in March when we are going out there. So the cold, it doesn't get a grip on you. I don't run marathons. Well, that's a good thing because I don't run marathons either. For Arctic expeditions, you don't need to run fast. You have to have stamina, endurance condition. You need to walk at a certain pace. So you don't have to run a marathon. It's okay if you do, but you don't have to. I don't have good materials. I don't have good equipment. Well, it doesn't matter because we supply you with most of the equipment. The only thing you have to take care of is your personal clothing. We will take care of the rest. And there we go. Hiking through the Hardangervida plateau in Norway. And in the background you will see the huts. The historical huts which we will visit during this expedition. Let me tell you a little bit about expedition levels. At Arctic Adventure we have three expedition levels. We call them labels. We have the blue label, the red label and the black label. To start with the last one, the black label, those are the real hard expeditions to the North Pole, to the South Pole, crossing Greenland. The blue labels, at the other end, at the other end those are the, the beginner's expeditions. Nice, easy going trips in Norway, easy going trips in Sweden. And the red label, they are in the middle. The Heroes of Telemark, that's a red label expedition. The sledge will be about 40 kilograms. We will travel about 20 kilometers a day and it will take one or two weeks. For the Heroes of Telemark, we will be out there for a week. Visiting those huts those historical huts which the saboteurs in the Second World War, the, the special forces, used as refuge or they've used to have shelter in there for a couple of days before they went down south to the f heavy water factory at Feymark. So, a red label expedition. We call it an expedition challenge. Challenging expeditions in unknown terrain which ask more of you. Sometimes you have to push the limit. Sometimes you have to do the extra mile during these expeditions, but they are worth it. And there we go. Through the terrain, eight persons in a row. Beautiful. I can look at this all day. <laughs> so let me tell you a bit about the tour itinerary of the Heroes of Telemark Memorial Expedition. Nine days, including transportation. We will do 110 kilometers on the Hardangervida plateau in Norway, which is in the southern part of Norway. We will sleep in tents. At the end, we will sleep in a hut. We will follow an historical tour. We will follow the footsteps of the World War II special forces, which were dropped in the middle of the Hardangervida, and followed the way south to watch the heavy water factory at Weimark with the objective of sabotaging the factory. We will pass by the original historical huts in the factory. At the end we will have a private tour and we will actually visit the cellar where the sabotage action has taken place. Um, it's full board including breakfast, lunch and dinner during the whole expedition. We will arrange all materials tent, sleeping bag, skis, shoes, um, mattresses, pots and pans, your food, the stoves, all included. All transportation from Oslo Gardemoen International Airport 
to the starting point and from the end back to Oslo airport so we will meet at Oslo airport and we will arrange the guide during the whole trip Tran taxi transportation from and back the starting point and the end point and there you go it can be hard sometimes as said before this is a whiteout you just walk into the white unknown it's a beautiful experience the participants let me tell you a little bit about the participants most participants and actually all participants until now were male male between 45 and 55 those are the participants of course I'll have some older participants next year there will be somebody of 63 joining this expedition last year there were persons below 40 but 45 55 this is the average age of the participants of the heroes of telemark memorial expedition eight persons including the guide and here we are in front of the svensby hut one of the huts used by the commandos the special forces in the in the second world war so the condition requirements it's a red label expedition so it's not a walk in the park I say you have to be able to walk 15 kilometers a day just normal walking with a backpack of 15 uh, kilograms for 15 days in a row if you can do this just at home in your own town or city walk 15 kilometers with a backpack of 15 kilograms for 15 days in a row and if you're not wasted at the end you're fine so if you can do this that's fine if you can run for 15 kilometers that's also fine skip the backpack but if you can run for 15 kilometers without feeling completely wasted you're also fine because this is what we're gonna do we're not gonna run we're gonna walk slowly through the fields of the Hardanga Vida how can you prepare for a trip like this well start walking just go out in the park start walking start running if you feel up to it go to the gym and train your muscles the muscles in your legs the muscles in your stomach and the muscles in your back those are the three main muscles you will, you will use during the expedition it's endurance com condition so you don't have to run very fast but you have to walk very far endurance competition uh, condition and it's a mental preparation it's in between the ears it's in your head so prepare mentally for the cold prepare mentally for the day's work ahead because some days it's going to be lousy <laughs> you want to go home it's stormy there's no visibility and it's just hard What else can you do? You can read a book about the heroes of Telemark. A lot of books have been written about this expedition. You can watch movies. You can watch movies on YouTube. Just Google on heroes of Telemark and you will find a lot of movies about this trip and this heroic action during the Second World War. But at the other hand, be surprised. Be amazed. Don't overdo your preparation. Don't read everything. But be surprised of what nature will bring to you and there we go finding the huts passing those historical huts in the middle of the plateau just great I'll tell you a little bit about the equipment I have three kinds of equipment group equipment personal equipment the personal clothing group equipment Arctic Adventure will take care of this like the tents a satellite phone, first aid kit, uh, repair kit, uh, stoves, we will take care of this. Personal equipment, your sleeping bag, we will take care of the expedition sleeping bag until minus 25 degrees Celsius. Um, the mattresses, we will take care of this. Your skiing shoes, your skis, your, your, your walking sticks, we will take care of this. The sledge, it's all arranged for the only thing you have to fix is personal clothing so a hat trou uh, trousers sweaters a jacket gloves socks underwear those things you have to take care of you have to take care of your personal hygiene so bring a toothbrush bring um, 
bring two thermos bottles and a spoon. A detailed packing list you will get in your mailbox or requested by Ascent, uh, Ascent Expeditions. Exp they will fix this for you. And this is the objective. The heavy water factory in Weimar. During the Second World War, the Germans occupied this factory and they produced heavy water for Hitler. So he could produce an atomic bomb. The objective was to destroy this factory, to destroy the facility where the heavy water was produced. And the special forces from the UK and from Norway, they managed to destroy the heavy water facility. So this is where we are going to. Well, the next steps, if you are ready for it, register. But only if you are ready for it, register. We will open a WhatsApp group in which we can discuss things with each other, uh, exchange tips and tricks and ask questions about equipment. We will have an introductory meeting, either live or via Skype. And then we meet at the start. And the start is Oslo Airport. There's where we meet. A taxi will pick us up. And then there's the expedition itself. And maybe at the end, but that's up to you guys, there will be a reunion. So, how can you register for this great, great trip? Go to the Ascent Explorers Club Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash Ascent Explorers page. Send them a private message or a message that you want to join this expedition. Or call or text to the phone number plus 44 7967 589 and call to them and say that you want to join. So either go to the Facebook fa page, facebook.com slash Ascent Explorers page, or call or text the phone number plus 44 7967 589289. I'm looking forward to go with you on this expedition. So register, ask more information about the the price and the dates on the Facebook page and it's going to be a great great expedition. So through hardship friendship is built and through friendship great things are accomplished. I'm looking forward to make new friendships with you guys so Join me and join us on a great expedition in the Hardanger Vida. Thank you.